Hey, we back with another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in one time with Kush Pack Chris, man. You already man. know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy Kush Pack Chris. Kush Pack C R I S. Follow me on all social media. You already know iTunes, Spotify, all that shit, man. Y'all fuck with me. You already know what the hell going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for shit show, man. Now, uh, you coming out originally from Connecticut, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was born and raised in Connecticut. No bullshit. I was out there till about 12, 13. Okay. No bullshit. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So then you migrated to the DFW. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had moved to a little suburb for, uh, for I guess, till like till high school was over. Yeah. I tried to go to college for a year. That shit ain't really where I went to UNT, University of North Texas. Okay. That shit ain't work. I was moving around everywhere after that. I lived everywhere, goddamn me. All over the DFW, niggas know, everybody know me. Yeah. You see where I'm at. So, yeah, man, coming from Connecticut, bro, I don't even know. I think I met a nigga that came from Connecticut before, you dog. The, you so, the, you, you gotta one. really just lace me down. You know, you came from out there at 12. Lace me down on what a day to day program like is in Connecticut and oh, shit. Out there, it's, it's a little, they, they operate at a different pace. It's a city, but it's a, uh, it, it's a small city, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole Connecticut, I mean, as a state, it's every every city small. Everybody know everybody. It's always niggas into it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's how, you know what I'm saying? It's the hood, really, until yeah. you get to the outside. When Once you get to the outside, like New London, and you get out there, that's where, where really where the white people stay. But nigga, if you're in Hartford, New Haven, Waterbury, Bridgeport, nigga, you be in the trenches, and niggas know. Like I've heard about New Haven, and yeah. I know like it's a lot of shit on that East Coast that's basically like, Different from NYC, but they still got like an NYC vibe, but it's real live trenches like yeah. Buffalo and no, yeah, all yeah. that upstate no, yeah. New York shit and all yeah, that going on. Really be out, like, you know who really hit me to that shit? That wave of like that it is a black and hip hop urban culture because you know it's hoods everywhere. Yeah, Max B was doing shows and all them. Places. Yeah, Max B used to be in Connecticut. No bullshit. He used to be, he used to be in New Haven at Toast Place. Yeah, Max he used B. to stay doing shows in yeah. them places. Some shit will always be popping off. It'll be a bunch of niggas in like big jackets and Tims and shit. Like, <laughs> beefed up and shit, but I fuck with them. The no. club be getting shot up out there every weekend. Okay. That's like, that's some uh, that's shit. Why I, okay, I know that's I wouldn't some, fall that's some, Yeah, that's some every weekend shit. Like, yeah, for okay. sure, for sure. For shit sure. show. It's up like that, for shit show. Yeah. Okay, so what was it like for you coming up, you know, in Dallas Fort Worth type shit, man? It's like moving here, imagine like moving somewhere and then at home, everybody like, you like, man, I'm finna move to Texas, I'm finna move to Dallas. Niggas is like, Man, you finna go get a cowboy boots and cowboy hats and yeehaw ass nigga, you know what I mean, like that. I come out here and, and niggas like, I'm like, man, I'm from Connecticut. And niggas like, what the fuck is Connecticut? There's niggas out there? What y'all be? I'm like, yo, this shit, wow. It was just, it was a whole different, like, uh, like a culture shock type shit. I had to get, I had to adjust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I adjusted well, you know. I'm out here in good hands, you know what I'm saying? We at Rizzo Rizzo video shoot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Drippy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Sperry Springer, out here with my brother Sperry. That's what That's we what on. So you hit that road, man, and came to Ace Time, three and a half hour drive. You know, it ain't yeah. too bad, not especially really with shit. two people. I done, I done did it plenty of time by myself or with one of the homies, you know what I'm saying, just trying to work. But what what made you say, fuck it, I'm finna just come to Ace Time this weekend, man? I be working, man. Sperry said it was up, it was up, and that, that was it. Okay. Sperry asked me one time, I said, yeah, let's go. We went yeah. the next day. We ain't even planning shit. Yeah. Nigga told me, like, the day before, yesterday, you trying to go to Houston tomorrow? For sure, let's get up and go. Yeah. Spur the moment type shit, dog. So it's uh, not really spur when you really working like that. Like niggas is really working yeah. like that. Like niggas really. So you been traveling to other other states too, I've like been in Atlanta. Cali, Atlanta. Been in Atlanta. I got yeah, I be in Cali all the time. LA. Okay. For sure, for sure, for shit show, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah! Shout out June the Genius, my nigga. Oh yeah. June, I got an interview with June. Shout yeah, out June, that, man. That's, that's a real nigga, dog. Yeah, that, I, I fuck in, with June. I be in Atlanta genius. with June and then with the hit cartel and the, my brothers. Okay, you be people. fucking on them? And my people, people, yeah. yeah. Shout out Can't Rush the Vibe, too, man. My little nigga Rando, too. Rando. Hey, that oh, nigga God. hard, he, he, bro. He, 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 he a baby goat, for real. Hey, that nigga finna blow he real soon. Goat, he gonna get his, he gonna get what he deserve, man. No, no that, bullshit. That motherfucker, that, I be on his, <laughs> I be here that day, bro. I'm sorry. Like, this nigga great, dog. Like, he hard. So you, uh, how long you been really just doing the rap shit, stomp dying, man? Like, all the way in. I been rapping, but, you know, when you coming up, like, it been, I had got, I got shown the rap industry from a nigga named uh, Jesse Porter. He was big in Dallas at, at the time. He was doing interviews with like Rick Ross and shit. He hosting all the shows when niggas came. He kind of brought me around and showed me shit. You know what I'm saying? He showed me 
different goddamn, you know, the aspect of music behind it. I'm behind it. I'm backstage. I'm 18. You know what I'm saying? Behind the stage at all the big shows and shit. I ended up start performing at them bitches, start going off at them motherfuckers and so on and so forth. But then it kind of stopped. I started getting trouble, going to jail and shit. Went to jail for a little bit, on and off, on and off, on and off. When I finally got out, I was like, man, I ain't finna be doing this shit no more. Ran my bread up like a year, two years. You know what I'm saying? Three years, just about three years. Now it's 2020. Yeah, I started, I really started going into 2018. I started dropping songs on iTunes and shit like that, like the end of 2018. And then motherfucking me, I started dropping videos. About six months after that, I've been dropping a video every week ever since. That's what's up. Every month, I ain't gonna say every week, but I've been recording the video. Every, I've been recording the video every two weeks, every week. I've been recording them hoes, but I've been dropping the bitch every month, every two, every two weeks, every month, every three weeks. I think every two weeks is that perfect spot, in my personal opinion. Every two weeks, visual. So what was you? Uh, can you say what you was in and out of jail for? Yeah, we, yeah, we charges just being, just being in the, uh, being a nigga in the suburbs. You know, I was serving out there. You know, and I, I really. My mama, my mama ain't expected us to move out and, and, and act like we were still from the hood. I don't know why she did that, yeah. but we did that anyways. We was all we, we never lost our roots. You know what I'm saying? So we was out there just being, being normal, normal shit. But out there, it's not. So it, people, they, it's different attention, and we serving in all types of fields. You know yeah. So you going in and out of jail? That, that would you say that's what sparked you to say, man, I'm gonna do this rap shit? No, I always wanted to be a rapper. Okay. Even before I was like serving, you know what I'm saying? I used to not smoke and shit. But I always wanted to be a rapper, uh, but I always wanted to make money too. So whatever was making money was working. Like I was always selling shit, whether it was like, I sell a nigga the shirt off my back. If a nigga was like, want that bitch that bad, he like, bro, I can't leave without, bro, for real, him. Yeah. Off my back, I go, shirt, let me, what, what, what shirt you got on? Let me get that, I don't care if it's smaller. Yeah. I sell a nigga shirt off my back, that's what, I'm, I'm just, but I, it, it's not, it's not, if it's not on me, it's in me, you feel me? That shit really in me, like I'm really like that. Like hustle. I'm really like that, hustle Stop really in me, hustle. like I really can't help it. Like. That's really how I get it. Yeah. So how did you say that was about a year process and just in and out and shit like that? Yeah, That's no bullshit. Like, you bounce back, you out here. And I know you take your career serious. Once a nigga go out of town and on that road, mm -hmm. that's when I say, okay, this yeah. is. Yeah. It's in the V. It's in the whip. Talk about it. It's urban politicians. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Niggas already here. Yeah, we out here, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my first time meeting, bro. She's so. You know? Shout out to Drippy. You know, yeah, Drippy. Look, right here. they say they say when you go to other places, you ain't supposed to check in. The but black diamond child with, with the black diamond smile. Got the white hoes going wild, trying to have my child. I gotta tell them now. Nah. I put up in a sprinter. A nigga tried to play with me this summer, then he died in the winter. A nigga. Yeah, oh. they, say, they, say, they, say when you, they say when you come down, you ain't supposed to tap in, but why not tap in when niggas keep shit so real, when niggas so thorough? Yeah. Why not tap in when niggas nah, that, you know what I'm saying? Big you know what I'm saying? Man, that's what, that's what, really, that's what it is, nah, you know? Since so, that interview with Walker, we was even just like speaking about that shit, about like that bridge, him bridging that gap between Dallas and Fort Worth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Dallas, Fort Worth, the Ace Town, then you got niggas in Austin. Fucking with niggas all over Texas, man. Texas is a whole motherfucking wave in this city. Right, self. exactly. So it's good exactly. to see y'all two doing y'all music right. together. Talk about that feature y'all got and all that other shit. That oh man, that dope. shit is stupid, man. I don't even know we gonna name that bitch at. Yeah. I don't even know we named it so but shit we got the song done, we got the video done, nigga niggas really working like and we tapped in, we got it, we got it done. My nigga Sperry came out, shot his interviews and shit like this shit all niggas moving as a unit, but everybody, everybody, everybody understand their position. And everybody play their role and wait their turn and just, you know what I'm saying? Everybody shine together. Everybody heat together. That's what that shit about. When niggas, you watch your turn, your bridges don't burn. Your bridges don't burn. Niggas be so greedy. Niggas be wanting everything, bro. You ain't gotta be. You don't gotta need. You don't need. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta want for all that. Just relax, man. Plant your seed and let it grow. See, so you know I, be, I had just seen you. Like I was telling you, man, that shit was crazy. Cause I had just seen you on the motherfucking, uh, I think the real life productions. Yeah, real life. Like, yeah, sure. real life. Yeah, Cause I be, man, I be calling them niggas real life street stars or something. That's reason. it. They real life street stars. That's them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why I be like that. It's all I the same. They all real life productions. The production company with the studio and shit. Okay. That's all the same. Now, I'm subscribed to them on my PS4, so I see the interview. Oh yeah, yeah. Them so them like, I see. Them. I like the P. I like to watch my shit on TV on the yeah, PS4. Yeah. Shout out real life, man. Shout out Big D the Mogul, man. So, that's so, yes, Big D the Mogul too. I'm that's on That's OG, man. That's that's man. He the real deal. Okay. He the real so deal. Big D the Mogul. But we, uh, you know, I'm on him. So, like, I see you. It was crazy. Cause I didn't even know y'all was coming out here with Spirit Hit Me. 
the next thing I know, hey, I see your name on there, and then when he showed me, no, when he showed me your Instagram, I seen that you was on. I said, oh damn, I just seen this shit on the TV the other day. Quite good, right? That's my, yeah, so. so that was lit, man. We uh, so tell them shit. You know what else you got coming and and, and your. All that shit, your Instagram, everything else, For bro. sure, man. I got trap trophies on the way. Yeah. I got the harder day bum on the way. Okay. I got pack or die on the way. God damn it, I got stupid videos on the way. BMG, BMG pack on the way. That that, that one finna be stupid. Niggas is already sleep on it. Well, really, niggas is just starting to wake up. Let me say that, cause that shit been in the process. Niggas been seeing that go. That shit finna go up. Shit, me and Drippy got a stupid video, stupid collab going on. God damn. Man, everything, it, it, everything, everything, I'm everything on, on this shit up there. If you really want to see, and next time, look, if a nigga want to know what I got going on, gotta just point. Look, put the camera up there. That's what I. We up there with it, man. That's what's on. That's what's going on, man. And it's really happening like that too. This shit ain't no, ain't no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm ain't saying, no saying being locked in, spirit spring, my boy Kush Pack Chris. Give them the IG, dog, so they can make so they tap in. Hey, on Kush Pack Chris, Kush Pack C R I S, Kush. Kush, Pack, P A C K C R I S, man. Follow me on everything Spotify, iTunes, all that shit, man. DM me. I'll follow you back. You DM me. Tap in with me. Fuck with me. I already know that. YouTube, all that shit. Yeah, all that shit. My shit is The Real Drippy. T H E R E A L Drippy. T H E R E A L Drippy. No spaces, no underscores. I'm the real one. That's my shit, so y'all tap in with the home from Dallas for work, too, man. Sure. So, Hope Pimp, Texas. Big we in the Texas. north with it. Hope Pimp, Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at in Dallas. You know what I'm talking about? Check in right there. When you tap in, check in right there. That's where the real hustlers at. You know what I'm talking about? Shit, so I had splash time. You already know about this splash. Nigga, know about this. For sure.